Yeah, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Kill. So Frosty Flap was the movie. Flap was the movie. Two in the way. God City, God City TV, Gangs of the City, God City Web Series, God City Podcast, God City Anything, man. Anyway, y'all already know what it is. I'm back with some more entertainment news for y'all. Y'all already know about the Bronze Drills. Been taking over. The whole 2021, they basically going crazy. That's from K-Flock, Dougie B, and all of them. Um, and Rasuno as well. But it seems like instead of keeping the unity alive and taking over, that Rasuno and basically... Um, K Flock been exchanging words on Instagram going back and forth. Seems like Ron Suno wants to be known as the king of drill. Basically, maybe because of the way like K Flock be saying he's the king of the Bronx drill, he's the face of the Bronx, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say this, I'm not gonna lie. Ron Suno, you do your thing and everything, but in the streets though, K Flock and them got it right now. If you really wanna be honest, you might do your numbers on the internet and everything, but they do their numbers crazy on the internet. Like from this last song, from this picture right here. Already at a million within a week. You know what I'm saying? They do their numbers, but as far as the street influence, they really got the streets on their back. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna show you the little um back and forth that they actually had going down on Instagram. So this is one of them right now. Ron Suno basically saying he's the king of the Bronx. He's backing out Brad saying he can go bad for bad with dudes. Whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? K Flock responded, whatever, but they started kind of exchanging words back and forth on like uh the story. You know what I'm saying? They're not really adding each other, but you if you know what's going on between them two, it's like they're reading each other's stories and then they're responding in the story. So um this is um what you may call him Ron Suno basically saying he's the king of the Bronx. Uh uh. We gonna go right here. K Flock gonna be like, man, these niggas talk more than than, than bitches these days. You get what I'm coming from? Yeah, y'all let me know what y'all feel about everything that's going on. If you listen to the Bronx drill, whatever, whatever, you got Ron Suno right here saying he made the Bronx hot. I was the first Bronx nigga to do Brooklyn drill features where the fuck y'all niggas is at. You know what I'm saying? I understand what he might say with that. He might be the first to do it, but still, I'm not gonna lie, they out here though. You know what I'm saying? Boom, you see, K Flocka responded right here. All right, him and B Love basically made um Bronze Drill lit. Basically, Ron Suno's back and forth with it again. They just been going back and forth, not really adding each other, but if you know, you know, because they basically just keep throwing shots at each other. You know what I'm saying? They backing out bread. Ron Suno put, popped up in the video, started backing out mad bread, and um. K Flocker backed out, bro. Ron Suno basically saying niggas talking, they don't be seeing him. And then you got him saying there's people getting the loan or whatever. I don't understand why it's even got to be beef at this point. I would feel like if y'all got it, you know what I'm saying? If the bros got it, y'all should keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Spread the love. Keep the, Don't make the same mistakes y'all literally just sat here and watched Brooklyn make. Start beefing with each other, all the foolery. It don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got the police against y'all. I'm pretty sure y'all got your own ops. Now y'all trying to get rap ops. It don't make sense, you know what I'm saying? It don't make sense. Stick to the dollars, you know what I'm saying? The dollars, get the hell up out the hood. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I ain't even gonna lie, I've been saying this, man. It seems like a lot to a lot of people, it seems like keeping a gangster might be more important to them than the actual money. Then I'm gonna be honest with you, if that's the case, then you don't need to get money because. When you get keeping a gangster gangster on some real, real gangster shit, you're gonna get locked and all that. All that money is just gonna go right back to the bells and all that to the same people y'all don't like. So it's up to y'all. But I don't even understand where it's coming from. I'm this is what I'm saying. Maybe Ron Suno's feeling a little heat that um K flocking them is so popular, everybody's flocking towards them, and he may be feeling like, damn, since the it, nobody talking to me, is that's the way to do it. I understand that New York dudes always do that, man. That's where the mistake is at. We always do that. We always feel like instead of even trying to get up, maybe do a song, trying to collaborate, they feel like maybe if I diss him and let him know I'm bigger than him or I, I show him I'm bigger than him, people going to know. It don't even have to be like that. Y'all got it right now. The bros got it on Smash. Do what you got to do, man. Y'all get that joint together. You know what I'm saying? Um... Hopefully, I'm saying the older guys in the Bronx could influence the younger guys to stop trying to be for each other, especially on some rap joint. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's hard to ever tell dudes to get off some street joint, but some rap joint is something that you don't really need. You get where I'm coming from? Because it's public. It's a public display. And if anything happens off that right there, then there's no getting away about talking. I ain't have nothing to do with it when basically I've been on the on IG live just talking about how what y'all gonna do with each other type joint. You get where I'm coming from? Um, anyway, man, um, much success to both artists. Hopefully, they can get it together, bring the peace back. Ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Um, you already know what it is. Make sure you subscribe. It's at K A Y O S O F R O S T Y on Instagram. Do remember, we're giving out $200 gift cards in a minute now. We're not even waiting no more. So make sure y'all tune up, all right? Holla.